Hi, I'm Russell Skews, service training instructor for Case H Axial Flow Combines in North America, and today we're going to talk about automatic feeder to ground in corn. And to utilize the automatic feeder to ground speed option, we must first be in the automatic mode. So on the right-hand console, we have our uh, feeder mode switch, and the two feeder modes that we can run in are manual, where we can adjust the speed of the feeder manually using the manual feeder speed adjust switch, or we can go into automatic mode. Now, automatic mode only works in, um, with the feeder on, so I have the feeder on right now, and if I push the A, that little LED will illuminate, and that will tell me that I am indeed in automatic mode. So now as I speed up and slow down the combine, uh, we will speed up and slow down uh, the feeder based on our toolbox feeder uh, miles per hour, and they will then set where our minimum feeder speed will be and our maximum feeder speed will be. Now, the other thing we can do is we can use the manual feeder speed adjust when we're in automatic, to uh, set an offset. So I can make the header go faster at all ground speeds if I use the plus, or I can make the header go slower at all ground speeds by using the minus. So I have to use the display to set the, the ratio, so to speak, and then I use uh, the manual feeder speed adjust when I'm in automatic mode to fine tune the system so I can make the head uh, perform exactly as I need it, uh, depending on how tall the stalks are, how low I'm picking, those types of things in order to match it up uh, exactly for my ground speed. And there's a little setup that we can do on the Pro 700 here to start with. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go in the toolbox. And I'm going to scroll across the bottom here. I'm going to go into the feeder tab. And when I go into the feeder tab, you will notice that there are two boxes here. There's a minimum auto feeder speed and a maximum auto feeder speed. Now, a corn head has a uh, normal operating range of somewhere between 460 RPM and 690 RPM, give or take some RPMs. And basically what you're looking at here is that this is where the corn head will operate at the minimum. So between zero and one mile an hour, as we have it set here, the corn head is gonna operate at 460 RPM. If I wanted to change that, I simply touch the box and I can either touch on the bar graph or use the arrows. And uh, I've got it now set for two and a half miles an hour and I press enter to save that. And now I've got it set so that the corn head will run at 460 RPM between zero miles per hour and two and a half miles an hour. Once we hit 2.6 miles per hour, we're now going to start to accelerate the corn head. Now, we're going to keep accelerating the corn head until we get up to 6.5 miles per hour. And at 6.5 miles an hour, the corn head will be going as fast as it can, which is 690 RPM. And this is how you basically set your ratio of uh, feeder speed to ground speed. By taking these numbers and moving them closer together, you'll get a, a steeper or a quicker response. If you take these two numbers and move them farther apart, uh, then you'll get a slower response. And you can even take this max um, feeder speed and run it all the way out to 12 miles an hour if you want. Obviously, uh, you probably would never pick corn at 12 miles an hour but that's where the 690 RPM uh, would be. And this allows us to fine tune this auto feeder to ground speed for whatever condition uh, we might be in. Now, uh, we're gonna go pick some corn and show you how this works, uh, but a couple other things that I've done here is uh, on a run screen, I have set up a uh, feeder speed and next to the uh, miles per hour here, so we'll be able to watch that while we pick some corn. And as we speed up and slow down, you'll notice that the miles per hour will speed up and the feeder speed uh, will speed up. And then as we slow down, those two will uh, be tied together. We kicked on the separator and the feeder, and you can see we're sitting at zero mile an hour, and our feeder speed is at 440. And again, uh, just in relationship, uh, 460 plus or minus 10% or so. So we're at the slowest feeder speed we possibly can. I'm going to uh, move the combine forward here. And uh, you can see as our ground speed picks up, and we had it set for 2.5 miles an hour. So as I continue to accelerate, and I get up to 2.6, now we're gonna start having that feeder speed go up. And that'll follow right on up. And I'm not gonna go to the max, what we had set at 6.5, but you can see how the feeder speed is gonna follow right on up as we continue to accelerate. And then if I slow back down, it'll keep coming back down with me. And when I get back down to my 2.5 miles an hour, then we'll be back at our uh, feeder speed minimum. Okay, so we're coming in on the, off the headland here, uh, nice and slow. Uh, we'll get lined up on our rows. 
and you can see that the corn hen is processing the stalks at a very slow rate of speed. And now that we got everything feeding good, now I can speed up the combine, speed up the picking, and as I speed up, the processing the stalks will speed up. And I can match that to whatever condition I've got. I can make it go faster or slower by changing those two numbers in the toolbox feeder. And as I slow down, the processing of the stalks will slow down. And if I come to a complete halt, then I'll be at 460.